hi welcome back to my channel hope you are doing great so i want us to do these three recipes just a quick one first there is a, um, a vegetable frittata all we need is this you know carrot we have a potato we have a broccoli ginger and garlic we have our tomato eggplant of course and mushroom with egg and all of that so you also have to use your spices i have to use a, um of course i use the salt as well you have to put your chili and whatever spice that you so much love okay you have to incorporate it to this mix and of course you have to see the outcome of this goodness guys so how to create the the uh, carrot so that to be more on the soft side i have to create it okay if you want to chop yours you can go ahead and chop it and i had to slice my onion you can dice yours in any shape that you want um my broccoli is there everything and eggplant of course see it sliced and i added another thing which is a shrimp <laughs> to make it more yummy i love shrimp so i had to add shrimp today so this is all of it basically all sliced out so the next thing is my onion i still fry it a little bit with garlic and ginger the next thing that follows for sure is my fresh tomato then the next is my um potato i have to put also those hard stuff you put them you know on time and um an eggplant also uh uh, carrot so basically all i'm doing is just to stir fry it a little bit to incorporate all the spices you can see i added the soya sauce there you know any spice that you want to add up you just mix it while you stir frying it and you can as well just go on without stir frying it and mix all together okay so after all is done the egg i've beat it already so i had to incorporate it also to the mixed vegetables and this is what we got so it's heading to the oven and tada, our vegetable frittata is ready in minutes. You can see it is still steaming in the oven. Guys, look at it. Isn't this yummy? Man, it was so delicious. And next is this um, fried vegetable mix. Trust me, this is good. You can eat it alone. You can use it to eat rice. You can use it to eat yam. Anything of your choice, but I enjoyed like this. Okay, all you need is eggplant, mushroom, onion, uh, potato. I have, of course, I use potato, fresh tomato. Just see all I had here. You can as well incorporate your own vegetables that you love. Okay, it's fine, totally fine. Um, the lemon is the juice that I sprinkled on mine before eating it. So I've got all vegetables sliced out. So the first thing I added was to steam the potato a little bit i'm sorry i didn't take us through that process steam the tomato because it is hard a little bit then you have to put the oil of course i use extra olive veggie oil olive veggie oil that's what i use so put it in your pot your onion and then stir fry other vegetables and then put on your tomato your potato sorry your potato because you will steam it a little bit because the potato is hard so that is it in there okay already incorporated and our food is ready you can eat this goodness alone <laughs> it's so yummy look at it and of course you put your spices prepare and all the spices you like garlic ginger all of them the dried ones you can put in it and the next is this goodness i love this seafood i love salmon a lot so all I had to use is salmon and shrimp and of course the vegetables there and the spices I use are still I had to add pepper I had to add the uh, turmeric yeah you will see the color of the outcome I added turmeric to this I ate it alone because of the potato that is present in it you can eat it alone you can use it as a side uh, dish for your rice and whatever so all I did was to also boil the potato a little bit to get softer and then steam my salmon fish a little then got all the vegetables steamed a little you can see it has a little water in it yeah because water from boiling off the potato and our fish the food is ready the food is ready guys this is so delicious no overcooking subscribe please subscribe thank you